Hello guys, this is Dr. Pulbert and welcome back to the inner world. In the last video, we were trying to figure out how to get the onesie, which I was not actually able to get in the last video. So I had to actually look up a tip about how to actually complete this part of the game. So apparently I missed a few things which I was supposed to complete. So we're just going to go back to the wind fountain really quickly so I can grab something because I kind of missed something which I did not realize. So we're going to go back to the wind fountain really quickly and uh, we're going to get something that we're actually going to use to get the strawberry yarn. So what we have to do was actually go up here like this. Go all the way up there until we reach up here. Now what we're supposed to do is actually go right here and get ourselves a flyer. So I'm not quite sure how we actually get one though. Um, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get a flyer. Yeah, like, we're supposed to get a flyer. Now, here, here what you gotta have to do. You gotta grab the flyer. Um, you don't actually have to read it, but we're just gonna go ahead and read it anyway. So, we're actually gonna use that uh, flyer, and we're also gonna go back down here. And we're gonna take this puppet right here and use it here, like this. There we go. And then we can actually get the lunch box. Oh, is that your service, Abbott Conroy? What we do now is actually take the lunch box like this. It could all Okay, then we take the lunch box and actually try to trade it with the boy for the pattern that he actually has in his hand. Which we're gonna actually use to create the onesie. So uh let me just see if we can get this trade with him very quickly. We take this, uh, we have to get it straight in with him like this. There we go. Hey, you're on a treasure hunt, right? Look what I found. There's nothing in it. Wait, there's nothing in it? Oh, okay, I just got re I just forgot exactly what I was supposed to do. Okay, you're supposed to actually put the marbles in the lunchbox, to be honest. And there you go, you got your own treasure, guys. I actually kind of saw it was actually pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny though. The marbles is actually the treasure. He just wants like something to actually play with. Hey, you're on a treasure hunt, right? Look what I found. Treasure. There you go. Oh boy, oh boy! The bazillion's eyes! Real treasure! Can I have the treasure map now? Sure, I don't need that old knitting pattern anymore. And there we go. Next, what we have to do is go back inside the bar. Like this. Then we have to go to the... Uh, then we have to actually use the flyer to actually try to grab the shred now. I can't do that. No, okay. I'm not quite sure exactly what we're supposed to do here. Uh, what we're supposed to actually do... Um, I think you're supposed to take the flyer and actually put it on the chair. Well, maybe? I could, but I won't. Okay, I think I may have got confused with this part right here. Let me see. Uh, how do I get the shred though? I've been trying to get this for such a long while. That won't work. Okay. If I go there. That could be fun. Won't help though. Nope, that does not work either. Well, I could, but I won't. Yeah, I'm quite kind of confused with this part here. Hmm. Let me see if I can try to get the shred. Uh, can I place it on myself then? Yeah, I'm just so confused about how to get this. Uh, what do I do? Yeah, I think I might have got confused. Well, I could, but I won't. Mm, what do I do? Uh... It's completely rusted up. Okay, well, I'm not actually sure what you're supposed to do for this part. To be honest, I'm going to actually have to pause the video just to figure out what you're supposed to actually do for this part right here. Because I'm kind of a little confused myself. I'll be right back, guys.
in the count of one. Okay, guys, welcome back from a pause. I just figured out where I'm actually. I I just figured out what I actually missed just now. I missed something, guys. Okay, so if we go back to, right down to the street, uh, back to the back street. There we go. What we have to do is basically uh, come back down here and actually take your flyer like you don't this. Do that. Sorry, we have to take the flyer and actually wrap it around the fish, which is a bit I'll surprising. Wrap the fish in paper. All right, then we go back into the street bar like this. Awesome. Then we go back inside the bar. Then we take the fish, I mean the wrap fish, and actually put it on the squeaky chair. Fish oil is lubricant. <laughs> Brilliant idea. I never actually knew that, of course. So, you know. That oily thing would just make my hands dirty. Alright, let's try to get tried now. Hang on, old man. Here we go. Oh, Malleus. If I'd have known what you're hiding under that rope. What then, oddly? I may have let you in on a special offer. Okay, there we go. We have the strawberry yarn. Let's go make that onesie. Is it true what they say about you? It depends. What do they say? Well, that's true. Oh. On holiday? <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, they're on holiday. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the wind fountain and actually uh, give the... Let's give him the, the items that we have collected now. Alright, we have everything we need now. Let's give him the pattern. The knitting pattern. Excellent. Oh, I see. That one's going to be one fashionable onesie. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. Alright, and the strawberry yarn. Awesome. Here I found real strawberry yarn. <gasps> my goodness. I would never have imagined that I would ever use this fabric again. It's very kind of you to let me assist in all of this. Yes. Mm. I'm always glad to help. I can see I have an idealist before me. Now I have everything I need for the onesie. Awesome. Whoa. Well, that was fast. Nice. There you go. A onesie made from straw bear yarn. Great. Well, thanks. Thank you so much. The baby will be happy. No problem. Oh, only just imagining the tiny thing kicking around and it warms my heart. Yes, thank you. You help me a lot. Could you get me a baby? What? Why? Uh... I'm lonely here. How about a dog? No, I sure won't. A potted plant? I'll go now. Okay, well that was a bit weird. Let's give the lady the strawberry yarn uh, onesie. Or just onesie, actually. Okay, there we go. Let's give her the onesie now. Here, I did it. A onesie made from real strawberry yarn. Little Conroy will stay warm from now on. My goodness, that was a joke. You really knitted a onesie made from strawberry yarn? I can't believe it. I would have said gold. Would you have gotten gold for me? But the baby insisted on it. It's a baby. It can't tell its toe from its nose. Uh, where can I find Laura? The Mikata is down the street. Try it there. Try? I thought you knew for sure where I... Hey, how could I know that you would really bring me strawberry yarn? She'd be there. You better get looking before she leaves again. Okay. okay. Uh, Thank you. At the Mikata. I should have said the baby needs a house. I should have said house. No. 
Wow, I really don't like her. I'm just gonna be honest. Whoa! Wow, how nice! This is the art place, and... Oh, I think the play's starting. This is Little Finnis. Together with his parents, he was living a modest and happy life. Every day they went to a wind fountain in order to appease the gods with a small offering. Aww. But one day, Finnis' parents decided that they couldn't spare the offerings anymore. Oh. The wind gods didn't appreciate that at all. Well, little Finnis, obviously seeing you grow up, wasn't that important to your parents. In order for Finnis to avoid meeting the same fate as his parents, he has to listen to Conroy. The wisest of the Asposians has plenty of sound advice on how to stay on the Wind God's good side. Praying every day helps. The Basilians like it when their people are living a modest life, void of demands. And don't forget the small offering. Do what Finnus does. Live the way that pleases the gods. And when in doubt, ask yourself, what would Conroy do? I'm not even sure what Conroy wow, would do. That was exciting. Wait a minute. There are feathers on the stage. Oh, this is interesting. is wearing a pigeon feather boa and tripped. Probably over these cracks in the ground. Okay, let's check it out. I can't get the trap door open. Hmm. The cracks on the floor look like a door. Okay, maybe we can actually use something to open it. Let's try to feather it. I don't know if that will work. I don't think that will work. Yeah, I thought so too. Okay, let's look around and see what we can find around here. It's just a, basically a stage. I'm not quite sure what I can actually find. But there has to be something that can actually open this trap door. Now what? Uh, let's try to quirk. That won't work. That won't work either. Okay. The puppet? I can't do that. Of course you can't. Uh, is there nothing that will actually work? no time to fool around i know i know well thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and the next video we're gonna be trying to do is try to figure out how to get in this trap door because i don't know how to i can't get the trap door open so thanks for watching if you're new to the channel please remember to subscribe and also remember to drop a like and i'll see you guys next time ciao guys ciao